Welcome to the DJI tutorial video. This video will show you how to use the power line follow function when Matrix 350 RTK is mounted with Zenmu's L2. It is recommended to mount the CSM radar and for G enhanced transmission module before performing the power line follow task. Install Zenmu's L2. Power on the aircraft and remote controller. Please update the firmware of Zenmu's L2. Matrix 350 RTK and DJI RC Plus to the version display or above. In the preflight check of the DJI Pilot 2 app, set RTH altitude and ensure the RTH altitude is at least 1 meter higher than the tallest obstacle in the operation area. Adjust max altitude based on the terrain of the flight route to prevent interruption due to reaching the max altitude during the power line follow task. Enable enhanced transmission. Enable RTK positioning. Enable horizontal radar obstacle avoidance and set obstacle braking distance to 10 meters under horizontal settings. Enable upward radar obstacle avoidance and set obstacle braking distance to 10 meters under upward settings. After all the preparations have been completed, toggle the flight mode switch on the remote controller to unmode. Control the aircraft to fly above the electric tower. Tap the power line follow icon, and the task parameter settings window will pop up on the right. Edit folder name. Select the corresponding power line type based on the actual operating situation. To increase the identification accuracy, for example, if the width of the on-site tower is less than 10 meters, set power line type to distribution line. If the width of the on-site tower is greater than or equal to 10 meters, Set power line type to transmission line. When power line type is set to distribution line, power line follow speed can be set to 1 to 15 meters per second. The default speed is 8 meters per second. When power line type is set to transmission line, power line follow speed can be set to 1 to 15 meters per second. The default speed is 10 meters per second. Set power line follow altitude. It can be set to 10 to 50 meters, the default altitude is 30 meters. Gimbal pitch can be set to minus 90 to minus 70. The default angle is minus 70. Default values are recommended. It is recommended to enable IMU calibration. The recommended choice for return MO is triple. To output a true color point cloud model, enable RGB coloring. After parameter settings, tap next. The aircraft will start calibration flight. Make sure there are no obstacles within a 30 meter range. To avoid colliding with obstacles during calibration flight, switch to the Zenmu L to visible light camera view. Control the Zenmu L to camera to tilt downward. Adjust the aircraft hovering position and camera orientation to ensure that the electric tower is centered in the camera view and improve the stability of line identification. Then the payload will automatically identify lines. Select the proper power lines in the app and press the C1 button on the remote controller to start the power line follow task. Notices During the power line follow task, it is recommended to switch the camera view to FPV camera view and monitor it in real time to prevent the aircraft from failing to identify small objects which could lead to collisions. During the flight, if multiple power lines are detected, the aircraft will hover automatically and continue with the flight task after selecting the lines. The aircraft will not respond to the control stick movements during the flight task. If there are urgent control needs, press the flight pause button on the right corner of the remote controller or switch the flight mode switch on the left corner of the remote controller to exit the task and manually control the aircraft. During the flight, if the aircraft is disconnected from the remote controller, the aircraft will automatically end the task and perform the preset RTH action. When exiting the interrupted task, the app will automatically record the position of the aircraft on the map and at a pinpoint. The end point of the last task will be displayed on the map when performing a new power line follow task in order to facilitate the planning of subsequent tasks. Thanks for watching.